Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to this tutorial on the drum kit start game. So in this tutorial you will be learning how to build a drum kit game using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So without further ado, before we go straight into the video, I want you to please subscribe to my channel so that I can keep getting up. Now let's go to a brief demonstration about how the program works. Now if we look this is the UI user interface and it says drum kit and if we look at it we see a W A S D J K L. So we click any of them. You see it makes a sound and if you look at the keyboard if I press with the keyboard W A S D J K L it plays a, the sound as with respect to the buttons I press. So this is what we are going to be building. It's a simple beginner project where you get to learn some cool features of JavaScript. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So for this project, uh, I'm going to keep the starting files. I'm going to open it with my favorite code editor. So I'm going to open CMD. I'm going to type code. And okay, so let's wait. So we have an empty index of HTML, empty style of CSS, and empty index of JS. So we are going to have three parts of this video. So for this one, I'm starting first with HTML. So let's begin. Okay, guys. So let's get straight into it. So to begin this part, uh, we are going to write the index of HTML and I'm using Visual Studio Code there, so and special image abbreviation. So writing that gives us this. And for the title, I'm just gonna name it a uh, drum. It's gonna be drum kit game. So it's gonna be drum kit. Yeah, I like that. It's good. Then below we want to link our style sheet, you know, to, so that we get all everything ready so we're gonna do a link rel it's gonna be a style sheet and we're going to do href this will be a dot forward slash index oh sorry style dot css i will close the tag so we have our javascript uh, our css linked now let's go and link our javascript file so this is going to be a script and inside the script here we're going to do a source and the source is going to be index.js so we have everything ready here so we have our script for the index javascript and we have our css now let's go now to our body for the html okay so what i'm going to add here is uh we're going to start first with an h1 because if we look at the final product of what we have we have this we have a title here and then we have this source of images with uh, that contain the letters and then we have this footer all right so let's get into it so if i say uh, i'm gonna name that h1 and it's gonna say drum kit now I'm just going to copy the emoji of the drum and bring it over here. Then I'm going to give it an ID of uh, title. This is so that in our CSS we can style it. Next up we're going to create a div of set. That's the drum set. And we're going to create about uh, six different buttons. Because if we look here in the in the original application, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven buttons which contain images. Well, letters, sorry. So that is gonna be W. So I'm just gonna write button. And since I'm using Visual Studio Code, I can do that. So times six.
pretty much have everything we need now we just have to make a footer and we're going to use the footer html tag and inside the footer we just write here say made with love in camera yeah you can put london like i did i just love the place but i'll put here cameroon for in this tutorial okay so we pretty much have everything so we are going to run our live server so the live server is a is a, a visual studio code a, a extension to automatically run sites or uh, HTMLs automatically without needing to save and reload the page it automatically reloads it for you so if I go live and boom so this is everything we have here W A S D J K L. We have everything ready and prepared. So next up, let's go to our CSS. Check out the second part of this video in the card above, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share. Thanks for watching.